500 that year, 12 and 22, is Neko Agumake. Gets her first basket of the night. Agumake coming off a double-double last night, 21 points and 12 boards. Here's Magwagor, the Australian national team member. As he on. Janae catches against Russell. Oh, what a beautiful feed. Back door to Big Sis. The sister-sister connection, Janae to Neka, gets LA within one. That was a great pass there by Janae. Here's Kia Nurse. Have been the scorers for Seattle. Here's clearing it. Canada, the nice hesitation. Dumps it off to Ogumake, who kisses it off the glass. So JC does so well. She puts defenses on their heels with her ability to get downhill, but then that nice heads-up play. Only attempted three shots in the first quarter as Neka hits the turnaround there, but she's already up to six. We're not even halfway through the second quarter. I think Jewel Lloyd is sensing what her team needs of her right now. Passing Lisa Leslie for most steals in franchise history for the Sparks. She was honored. Shot ties it up at 37. Under three to play in this first half. Here's Lloyd. She's got 11. She shoots those all the time. Seven on the shot clock. Neca has the baseline. Use that drop step in the fall away. Good. So Neca up to 12. Good strength there. Using her defender as a shield. Able to rise that floor. Lloyd with 16. She's got five straight games of 20 or more entered tonight. And there's Neca going to the reverse. She said, if Lil Sis can do it, I can too. And a foul on the wing by Canada. The crossover. Oh, Canada. Baseline J by Neca. She's got 16. Scoring in a variety of ways here tonight. Nurse off glass, the bucket and the foul. Neca perfect here in the third quarter. That's her eighth point of the frame. She's made all four of her field goals. Neca getting a little bit of every three. Neca now with nine in the quarter. Here's Nurse wide open for three. Not so fast, Janae in the kiss off the glass. That never give up, never quit. Continuing to fight for the possession. So Canada returns. Clarendon has a seat. 55-59 our score. About a four-second differential between shot clock and game. That's what I should have said as well as I talk about the Sparks being able to get to the free throw line, especially here in the spot. Sparks in front by seven. Approaching four and a half left. Coming from the charity stripe. Strong double-double, 25 and 13. Sparks fans on their feet. They got a good crowd here tonight on H. Whitcomb, a three. In and out.